What a good day to start a new account. Just gonna start up. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, what? No! What? How did that happen? What is this? 99 fishing? How could that happen? Well, this is the start of a new account. And, uh, well, it's my old account, but uh, there's a new chapter in this. As you can see, we are no longer in the desert. But uh, we still have 99 fishing. And uh, that's because this account is Desert Beard. You won't see this name for much longer. In a couple of clips here, we will change the name to something else. And I have a great name in mind, but uh, I will explain in a little bit why I'm doing this. But uh, as of this clip, there is no longer any Desert Hardcore Iron Man series. I mean, I died last last episode anyway, but uh, I'm not continuing just uh, purely being a Desert Locked Iron Man. But I'll explain a little bit more in a second. Okay, before we move on, I just briefly want to touch on the reasons why I'm doing this. I started a new series a couple weeks ago, but I will stop working on that. I just didn't feel right. Uh, one of the main concerns regarding it was not being able to pick up all items and as a person who loves collecting random items, it just felt so bad leaving them on the ground. It killed me seeing birds nest despawn. At that point I realized that I don't want to continue on it, which is basically the same reason why I don't play Ultimate Iron Man. Now, I am also one of those who doesn't like playing on alls. This leaves me with my Desert Iron Man. Now as some of you know, I died on it last month during Beneath Cursed Sands quest. It was fine, I always expected to die at some point. But the reality is, I am realizing more and more of what I am missing out on by limiting myself to just one zone. There is so much great content out there, none of which I can take part of. I also do not want to start a new account because I have spent 67 days playing during the past two years and I really don't want to throw that away. Even though I love the Temporos grind, I don't really fancy doing it again. It feels kind of stupid to do this so close to Rage 3, but at this point it doesn't really matter. I achieved most of my goals that I set for my Desert Man. I did all the important content, killed KQ 20 times and finished Magic Training Arena. But yeah, anyway, this is the reason why I have made the decision to move on and start a great new journey. One of the first goals is to get access to miscellanea and unlock passive herbs and planks. I initially thought it was pretty straightforward, but it turned out that uh, we need to do a lot of quests in order to do Throne of Miscellanea and Royal Trouble. One of the requirements is Heroes Quest, which in turn has the requirements of Lost City, Dragon Slayer 1 and Merlin's Crystal. And some of these quests are locked behind quest points, so my first goal is to get these quests done and also do some additional quests to meet the prerequisites and uh, then finally complete the first goal. So one of the first things I want to do is to go get myself full graceful because it has been too long since I've been able to, to uh, run long distances. And uh, for that we actually need to create quickly a... Games necklace. Oh, that was quite a few. Okay, we're gonna run to the right guy. We need to return here at some point because I need to get the rogues outfit. But I think I should have enough of these marks of of grace. And obviously, if you didn't know where I got them from, all of these are are gotten from the Paul Nivnich uh, agility course. So that's uh, that's why I already had some stacked up because I've been doing some of that but this feels so good this is gonna save so much energy so happy about it we don't need to worry about the recolor right now but uh, yeah okay the first quest we're gonna do is Fremenic trials uh, because that's one of the requirements for for uh, throne of miscellanea so we're gonna do that first oh this is taking forever but uh, 
At least I beat the fourth phase. I'm sure everyone has seen uh, this quest before, so here goes a quick montage. This part is so nostalgic. I haven't uh, seen this one in so many years. <laughs> okay, I over prepared a little bit. <laughs> but, okay, that was uh, a bit too easy. And there we go. We can uh, use Dragon Plate and Rune Plate. Uh, we actually need to do Heroes Quest next, and we're. We need 55 quest points, that's uh, 18 more to go, so I'm gonna start on the second goal that I have in mind, which is unlocking the Hallowed Sepulchre. Just realized that I just bought my first Staff of Fire. Okay, so while we're walking towards the, the temple, uh, one of the goals of the account is to get the Ring of... Uh, Endurance, that's what it's called, yeah, from the Hallowed Sepulchre. And uh, one of the reasons I really want to go for that as an early goal is because, uh, I mean, running is a huge part of the game. And especially since I basically have no quests done, right, I'm going to be doing a lot of running. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to try to rush getting the Ring of uh, Endurance as well as getting... Uh, 77 herb lore for stamina potions if I can manage to do that everything will be so much easier bossing questing skilling everything and uh, I don't think it's that bad of a process I don't think it that's that long of a grind to to get the, the ring of endurance or the I guess the herb lore is the the worst part but uh, I kind of like agility and I don't think uh, the Hallowed Sepulchre seems too bad and I've heard from a lot of people that it's actually quite enjoyable hence why I think it should be just fine and uh, yeah so that's one of the goals but that quest or not quest but that mini game or agility course whatever you want to call it has a lot of uh, requirements right so I need to do all like basically the entire uh, Mauritania quest series so that's why I'm, I'm gonna start with this now since we still need quest points for the heroes quest But yeah, uh, that's basically the the explanation there And that's also the reason why I want miscellaneous as fast as possible because then we unlock passive herbs Which is going to speed up a lot of things quite quite a lot There we go One quest down and uh, now I need to check which was the next one It's all going into a blur. It put everything there like a true Iron Man that that we've become. Two levels, perfect. So I just realized that uh, I have a couple of clues. I don't think I will be able to do the hard and the elite ones, but but we definitely have a medium clue. And the cockatrice they drop medium clues. So I think it may be worth doing this just real quick and then uh, see if we can get a casket. I don't know if I want to open it or if I'm just gonna save for like 10 opening or something. But but yeah, I think I'm gonna go, go do these two real quick. I really need to get a teleport to Canopus. Are you serious? Like, okay, let's see. Does it work now? Ah, it does. That saves so much time. Okay, perfect. It wasn't as bad as I initially thought. Hey, there we go. We got our first casket. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna stack up a few and then we can do a bigger opening. Hey, there we go. We managed to get the iron boots. That's our actual first upgrade. Got uh, the mystic boots as well. But I don't know if I need them, but I'll pick them up regardless. Forgot to record, but... Uh, set my house to Relica so we can get uh, back here quicker because I'm getting so many herbs and uh, limb words, which I don't want to leave just missed 35 slayer 36 slayer and uh, task is done 
I decided to go to Cheldar just because it's the easiest one to... Oh my god. 27 Iron Dragons? Are you for real? Here we go. There was uh, such a trek to get here and I don't... I think I need to come back for, for more because... Uh, yeah. It's hitting me for a lot and I'm barely hitting it. Either I skip this task or I do it but... Uh, it's gonna take a long time, which is uh, kind of annoying to be honest. Okay, so I barely managed to kill two. That was uh, close as well, so... Uh, yep, we're gonna go skip this uh, task, that's for sure. We quickly finished up the Ice Fiend task and we're gonna get... Are you serious? Okay, we managed to kill the cows. Let's see if we can. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's uh, that's okay. I don't think I've killed lesser demons since uh, like actual 2010 or something. Here we go. 38 Slayer. We ah, I just realized this is actually the theater of blood area. I was just obliviously walking in here like, uh, like I would know anything but we have a bank here now and this is super easy to get to. I absolutely hate this quest. I can't... Every time I go to the little base, I have to teleport to Varrock and run back because uh, I don't know the way out. Well, this is going to be interesting. I am uh, kind of nervous because this seems to be quite a difficult fight and uh, <laughs> my gear is the newbiest set of gear you could find anywhere. I think we got this. I think we got this. Yeah, I think we, we got this now. Perfect. <laughs> we did it. First try. I was uh, stressed out for nothing. I did, did well there. I did well there. There we go. This quest took so long. I like, uh, <laughs> It's actually incredible, but uh, finally we now have a great teleport to to different places, uh, it would seem. First of all, as always, we're gonna put all of these on herb lore. And I think there were three, perfect. And then I don't know where these teleports take us. Let's go to... Oh, I haven't unlocked that one yet. And what about this one? Versin Hassa. Okay, perfect. This is actually a pretty decent. It's close to a bank, so very happy about that one. So I just uh, realized that you can make, or I can make a necklace of passage, which, okay, lots of broken ones, but uh, it's actually good because since I don't have a glory, necklace of passage can take me to quite a few places. Like uh, Wizard's Tower, which is kind of close to Draenor. And then also, since I can't get to, to Ardoin yet, or Grand Tree, uh, the Necklace of Passage also teleports you to the Outpost, which is uh, kind of close. So that's why I'm doing these here. Man, I must say that it feels so nice being able to do anything I want to in... In RuneScape. It's been so many years since I played played regularly or the normal way, the regular way. I, can, I don't I don't even remember. It's probably 10 years ago or something. I don't know how old is how old is RuneScape or OSR is. But it's so many years ago and uh, I'm really enjoying it so far even though running back to to Mauritania was uh, pretty horrible but but just teleporting around, doing stuff, seeing other people, it's uh, it, it it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it so much. Probably the easiest quest in the world. And there we go. Quest done. And we now have enough points to do Heroes Quest. So, up next, Heroes Quest. And also we can use the gliders now, which... Uh, is definitely a helpful uh, 
means of travel, so very good. Oh, I didn't realize that I can actually wait. Oh, okay. never mind. Since I can only use the three in uh, the gnome stronghold. But uh, okay, I guess that's good to know. So here we go. We're so close now to getting to miscellanea. Oh, I happened to get 43 herb lord just from creating the the blemish oil. This is also one of the beautiful things about not having to start over. Uh, I can use so many more shortcuts and uh, it definitely speeds up the process so much. Like I mean 66 days or 67 days or whatever played time hasn't gone to waste. Uh, this was so much faster than uh, shield overall. There were so many people wanting to do this and uh, was fortunate enough to find uh, group Iron Man Ernst to help me, so. Nice gloves achieved. There we go, this should be it. And uh, yeah, perfect. I don't think we're gonna get any levels. Oh, we do get some levels, that's nice. But uh, even better, we can charge the Ring of Wealth. Actually, it turns out I can't do either here, it's only the glory. You guys should congratulate me, I just married the princess. Here we go. We're so close now. So I just realized that I didn't record anything of uh, this uh, royal trouble quest, but uh, fortunately it was easy and the snake was uh, was uh, super easy as well. And uh, I basically didn't remember to take any food or anything, but I had my spear and uh, had my combat bracelet and that was all that it, that all that it took. I had Slayer's Respite because you need 40 Slayer, but I'm only 39. But fortunately it gives you two, two Slayer per drink, so I was able to do it. And now we can finally... Oh, oh actually I was 38 Slayer, I guess. We just got 39. But yeah, what that means now is that we can finally... We're gonna have to get a few more points, but we can now put... I think it's better to put both here on herbs and then both antiques and then we're gonna deposit I guess 10 mil is that possible I don't know how much you can deposit okay seven seven and a half mil and uh, yeah goal number one is complete uh, it took me about three days total which isn't too bad actually it's pretty decent we're on to the next challenge. So it's uh, Quimby from Post Editing. And uh, I just wanted to say I hope you've enjoyed this uh, definitely different episode from uh, what I've usually done and a whole new chapter in, in this uh, YouTube channel, I guess. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and a comment and uh, always leave me feedback to what I can do better. That's highly appreciated. And uh, other than that, thank you.